When this police officer was going about his duty on a bright Tuesday morning, he noticed that people were pointing at him, while some looked at him with a huge grin on their face. He usually didn't get this sort of reaction. So, what went wrong, he wondered. Just then, he turned around and what he saw made his heart race. The streets of Los Angeles conjure up images of traditional Hollywood glamour with swaying palm trees and plentiful sunshine. The city is also well known for being one of the most populated cities in the United States, where you can often find many people and a few animals on the streets. Most of these animals are beloved pets, but sadly, some are strays. Luckily, the lost pets amongst them usually get reunited with their owners within a few days. However, some of the homeless ones end up in animal shelters, where they are left with no choice but to wait for someone to adopt them. Most animals aren't lucky enough to choose their owners, but the one in this story is one hell of a lucky dog. This courageous pup walked up to a police officer and asked to be adopted, but would his wish be granted? One buzzing Tuesday morning, a police officer, Mercado, who worked at the Los Angeles Police Department, had to work earlier than usual and started preparing to go out on patrol. It was his birthday, so he was in an ecstatic mood. He went to work with a big smile on his face, and when his colleagues showed him the gifts they had got for him, he went nuts with excitement. Before leaving home, Mercado's family had also surprised him. His wife and kids had woken him up with a birthday song and read out heartwarming handwritten letters for him, and now that he got to work, his colleagues also surprised him with gifts. Well, if that's not a perfect morning, I don't know what is. What more could you ask for, am I right? Mercado also thought the surprises were over. Little did he know his day was just about to get eventful. When it was finally time to go out to patrol the street, Mercado was joined by his colleague, Tavera. The two got into the patrol car and drove out of the LAPD building into the streets. The morning was quite stress-free as there were no signs of criminal activities and they didn't get any calls for help. But soon enough, these police officers would get pretty busy. When they got to Hobart Boulevard Street, they came out of the van and started patrolling the peaceful neighborhood. For the first few minutes, there was nothing unusual. As passers-by walked past the police officers, only a few of them cared to greet them. But all of a sudden, things changed. People started staring at Mercado. Some even stopped what they were doing and started looking in his direction. The policeman also noticed that people were smiling at him and some were pointing at him. What could be so amusing, he wondered. Just then, Mercado turned around and that was when he finally understood why everyone was staring at him. Just a few feet, meters away from him, was a puppy, a seemingly lost but happy one. Seeing the animal wagging his tail and following him, Mercado let out a hearty smile and the onlookers cheered. Mercado crouched and gently caressed the animal. You are such a sweet boy, he said. Then he looked around hoping that someone amongst the onlookers would come forward as the owner of the adorable pup, but no one did. Mercado even asked if anyone knew the puppy's owner, but no one did. However, some people claimed they had seen the pup once or twice around. With that, it dawned on the police officer that the pup was a stray. Mercado couldn't believe such a sweet dog was living off the streets. As Mercado went on with his job and patrolled the streets, the energetic pup kept following him. At intervals, Mercado would crouch beside the pup and caress him, and the furry animal would lick his fingers. It was such a lovely sight to behold, and Mercado's partner enjoyed every bit of it. Wouldn't you feel out of this world if an animal as sweet as this pup were to follow you around? When the pup still wouldn't leave, Tavira couldn't hold herself any longer, and she knew she had to share such a beautiful interaction with the world. So, she got out her phone and took pictures of Mikado and the pup. She also made a video. Then she uploaded them on the LAPD social media accounts, and boy, within a few minutes, the comment section was buzzing like crazy. Everyone wanted to know what would become of the sweet dog, and Tavira promised to update them. Just then, Tavira suggested that they give the dog a name. After pondering for a while, the duo named him Hobart, after the street where they found him. The police officers started calling him by his new name, and the pup, who was quite intelligent, seemed to respond to their call. As their patrol shift started drawing to a close, the police officers, especially Mercado, became dejected. 
They knew it was almost time to bid the pup goodbye, but when they returned to their patrol car and it was time to zoom off, they both knew they couldn't leave the dog behind. Besides, Hobart started running around the car as if he wanted to ride with them. It was clear that this pup was hell-bent on going with Mikado wherever he went. But did the police officer feel the same way? Feeling responsible for the poor animal, Mikado helped him into the car and Hobart rushed to the front seat. The dog seemed very comfortable in the car, as if he had been in it many times before. When they got to the police station, the officers left Hobart with their colleagues and they went ahead to do some research on the puppy. Soon enough, they were disappointed to learn that the sweet creature had owners that had abandoned him. Unfortunately, animal homelessness is still a big problem in the U.S. Approximately 70 million stray animals are living in the U.S. Sadly, only a small percentage end up being put into a shelter and the rest of them are left to fend for themselves on the streets. Although it hurt Mikado to let Hobart go, he had to make the painful decision to take Hobart to an animal shelter where he would receive adequate care and love. Mikado put Hobart back into his police car and he drove to a nearby shelter. But this time around, Hobart wasn't playful. It was as if he could tell that his new friend was leaving him. When they got to the Ghetto Rescue Foundation, the staff quickly warmed up to the dog. Of course, they were charmed by his sweet nature. After Mikado left the shelter, Hobart was foremost in his mind. Even though they had only been acquainted for a few hours, he found himself worrying about the dog. Would he adjust well in the shelter? Would his next family love him and treat him right? The thoughts of the sweet pup kept Mikado up all night. So, a few days after he dropped Hobart off at the shelter, Mikado got into his car and drove back to the shelter. When he got there, the staff immediately knew he had come for Hobart and they took him straight to the dog's cage. When Hobart, who had already started to become less playful, saw Mikado, he suddenly jumped up in excitement. When the staff opened his cage, he ran towards Mikado and started licking his feet. Fighting back joyful tears, the police officer, who had already decided to adopt the pup, carried him in his arms and said, It's time to go home. The staff were happy, and Hobart himself was over the moon. After the adoption, Hobart became part of Mikado's family. Not only was he loved by his wife and kids, but Hobart's colleagues loved the furry animal as well. Dogs often join workforces as mascots or emotional support animals, so the team joked about Hobart becoming part of their canine unit. In a post, they wrote, Welcome to LAPD, Hobart. The police unit also made a post on Twitter informing their followers that Mikado had adopted the dog. Update on Hobart, a lot of you have been asking what Hobart is up to these days. We are glad to tell you that Officer Mikado has adopted him and he is now living the good life with Mikado and his family. I am so glad that this puppy found his forever home. What an awesome and inspiring story. Right now, the whole world needs to focus on stories like this one. Stories of hope and luck that have such happy endings. If you love this story, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.